Yo guys, I'm Yellow, the Norwegian hardcore PC gamer, and today we're going to do something which is very clean. We are going to go through everything I've been able to learn throughout living in the city and not living in the city when it comes down to making sure that your setup is not just clean, but so that you will not have to experience what I experienced yesterday with this mouse right here. Um, this is a rat tournament edition. Um, it's not that good, but it does the job, and the sensor is surprisingly good, and even more so, I don't find any reason to switch it out and that is kind of some of the points I want to get to but anyways so the general theme of this video is thus um, stuff you want to do in order to make sure that the sensor will not get screwed over because that's one of the annoying things with this my mice um, the sensor is so sensitive uh, even a little bit of dust inside of the chamber where the sensor is will obliterate your experience when it comes down to aiming. For example, everything is suddenly going to work only horizontally and or it will stutter so you can't use a mouse at all or it will be vertically and then it will stutter again. Um, you can try and like um, turn it on and off I was gonna say. You can plug it into other computers and it doesn't really work. So the only thing you can really do is two things. Number one, prevent it from ever happening in the first place and number two, fixing it when it happens. And so I figured that I should, um, yeah, you know, like start with number one. And number one will be, obviously, to prevent it from the get-go. So what I would recommend you guys to get is one of these, and you can get grab them at Ikea or any clothing store, and you essentially use them in order to get any type of dust that you might have on your uh, on your clothes off. This can be, obviously, thus used to clean a mouse pad. And I would recommend this because they're super cheap, and Ikea is especially cheap with these. So, yeah, uh, maybe use it once every second month month if you live in the city maybe way more often I had to use it way more often so I would just recommend that uh, aside from that though uh, make sure that you always clean your hands uh, before you do anything on the computer every single time that way you make sure that there is less dust uh, spreading the same with foods and drinks regardless of the type just make sure that it's as far away from your mouse pad as possible which is why I have my drink stuff over there <laughs> like the mouse pad is there the stuff is there like it's always like that and it's been like that ever since I got into CS so that's kind of nice because it actually kind of works and it, it's a systematic thing that it proves itself to be uh, resultful. Um, so aside from that, uh, I also want to point out to you guys that live in the city that, um, yeah, if you want to get fresh air in, always make sure that it's done in like one big bulk. Uh, it might get a bit cold, but whatever. And then you just let your air maybe get a bit stale. That way you won't always have to like get fucked over by the dust. So, I mean, you, you do whatever you want, but uh, that's at least how much of a prude I became on that stuff. Um, and lastly, and this is for the people that are really trying hard um, most human beings shed hair and that is why I'm wearing this buff uh, primarily you can see that my fucking curly annoying long fucking hair st is sticking out from it but that's kind of why I'm wearing it long hair strain 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 strands of hair is that how is it I think it is um, being everywhere is not a cool thing all right so that kind of sucks but this fixes it mostly and I mean I live in Norway so it keeps my head cozy and warm uh, warm indeed. Um, now let's move over to f uh, cleaning the sensor and it's very simple really. You basically need a very very thin type of uh, pointy object and I would not recommend metal ever. Uh, maybe uh, a little toothpick. It could be plastic or wood. I would recommend plastic. Um, and then you want to grab a q-tip. Uh, now obviously uh, whatever type of a uh, slim object you have you want to uh, maybe bite off a small uh, piece of the q-tip and then Make sure that your clean and washed hands take this and and kind of sort of uh, spare it on on the whatever pointy object you have. Um, I don't know what this is exactly, but um, it suffices and it's plasticky even though the inner is metal. So to me, this works out well. And then what you then want to do is to like nudge it in here so that you can just clean it around and twirl it. You can do that with your pointy object, um, but make sure that the wool that you're uh, sh shoveling literally into the sensor uh, is not going in and getting stuck, you know. Uh, if it does that, you're basically screwed unless you can jam it out and you don't want to cause any disturbance to the sensor. You just want to give it a little twist so the dust can get away. When you've done that, you're basically good to go, and your mouse should be as good as new if the problem is not something different. Um, in which I would recommend to maybe do it like two or three times if you truly have to, and you always gotta make sure that you are very 
sensitive and you don't uh, really uh, scrape or do any kind of hard pushing and bullshit when it comes down to the sensor. After all, it's super sensitive and most modern sensors, even in this old Rat Tournament Edition mouse, they are super accurate. Um, so yeah, you gotta be very cautious. But when you're done with that, you'll probably end up where I am today, all right? You know a lot about cleanliness. Um, you decided to maybe make a video about it for all I, uh, I know. Um, and that's aside from the matter of fact that the mouse works. And that is what is awesome about just making sure that this stuff is fucking clean, all right? So don't eat around your, your, your desk. Uh, whether or not you're a chick or a dude, don't do anything nefarious either. Don't bring your fucking oily hobby over to the mouse pad either. Either. Um, and if you're lucky enough, you might even be a cool owner of a QCK mouse pad like me. I do believe they can be put in the washer machine if you truly want to fix them up like that. Um, don't quote me on that though, because I don't really care about that sort of stuff. So uh, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to use the, the hair roller thingy. I mean, I meant to say the, the cloth roller thingy. But yeah, that's basically all of my small nitpicky tips regarding keeping your stuff clean. So thanks for watching, I guess. And if you want to support me and my work and CS related, content or if you basically want to get better FPS games I would recommend you to support me because that's basically what this channel is about uh, in which uh, yeah links in the description a lot of them uh, yeah feel free to do whatever the hell you want all right so anyways thanks for watching have a nice day and don't get beastified when you play